Hey, what is up people? Skywalker Hendrix here back with another video for you guys today. And today we are going to do something a little different, a little fun video uh, for today. And today I am going to teach you guys how to pose your Hot Toys or really any, you know, this applies to any action figure. Um, but specifically I will be showing, you know, how to pose a Hot Toy. And I know in the Hot Toys community, a lot of people are kind of scared to pose their action figures. And these are, you know, 300 plus sometimes dollar action figures. So really collectibles. They are, you know, $300 collectibles. But that can make people kind of, you know, scared to pose them or leave them in poses or you know, pushing the joints a little more than what feels safe, but I am here to show you that you can get full range of motion out of these figures, and they are durable and all that good stuff, so in this video we will be showing you how to pose a hot toy. Alright, so getting this guy in a nice neutral stance, uh, you know, the legs are a little bit spread apart, but otherwise, this is pretty much how you would get a figure out of the package. Now, something to know. First thing you want to do when posing your action figures, specifically a hot toy, you know, sometimes a subtle pose is, you know, can go a long way. I personally do not like posing my any of my action figures in like super dynamic, you know, maybe here or there, but for the most part, I like a good simple pose and I think it, if you do it right, it can be the most effective. So something simple that you can start with when posing a hot toy is maybe, you know, obviously you, you might wanna look for some reference um, but something I like to do is tilting the head. That can just add a little bit of attitude to these figures. And then if you want to keep it simple for the most part, something with these clones in particular um, to get the full range of motion in the elbow joint here, um, this little strap piece does tuck underneath and you can really get it up there. And I mean, look at that. I mean, even doing something as simple as this really can can make your figure look nice and a little bit more dynamic and not just uh, standing straight up and down. Uh, but yeah, I just think a little can go a long way when posing hot toys or action figures in general. Now, something that you're gonna want to do is you get all these joints moving so you don't want to just move the arm you don't want to just move the head you want to get some kind of some body movement in there so utilize those those butterfly joints pull his arm a little bit closer to his chest um, something like that can definitely go a long way and I mean, just even the legs there, I did pull out one just a hair farther than the other. And that just kind of adds a little bit of a lean to the, to the stance of the figure. And I think something like that can just make it look like a real person in a suit. Also something that people do get nervous about with Hot Toys is, you know, are they fragile? Do, you know, do they break easy? And I personally have never had a hot toy break on me. Um, I have dropped a hot toy before. I mean, they are pretty durable. Now, I've heard from some people that they do seem fragile when you first pick them up, and I would say I agree with that. And the plastic is not like your typical action figure toy plastic. It is a little bit more brittle but it is also durable. And really, you know, testing the 
the uh, range of motion in some of these joints is going to be your best friend. You know, take it easy at first. See how far you can push the elbow before really, you know, starting to crank it. But um, something else you can do is, you know, bring in another uh, arm to kind of help with the pose. And really, you know, like I said, you can push these elbow joints pretty far. Um, they actually do articulate very nicely. And I mean, even something like this is just super easy to do, but also adds a ton of, you know, versatility to these figures and making them look a little bit more lifelike standing on the shelf. And like I said, I mean, the head tilt, you get a good head tilt in there and he's really going to look... Um, you know, determined like he's on the hunt ready to go. So just these little things that you can do really just sell the realism of some of these poses. All right, and just showing a few poses that if you want to try at home, I mean, go for it. These are, you know, I, I do, you know, not to toot my own horn, but, uh, I do consider myself a pretty decent poser, um, but, you know, there are people that are, you know, absolutely amazing and it's like it comes naturally, but I really do like to take my time with poses and really just make them look realistic. Something that helps me is, you know, these are figures that, you know, characters that come from movies and TV. So look at some of some reference pictures, you know, what do these characters look like when they're doing certain actions? Um, you know, if you have a Jedi character, look at some poses from, you know, the film that they're in or the TV show. Um, for clones, it is pretty basic. I mean, you're going to have your blaster, your, you know, aiming down the sights, but some other things you can utilize some of his armor. I mean, he does have the com link on his on his right arm, so I I love this pose personally. Um, like he's you know typing something in or he's communicating with someone. I just love I love when you can make a figure look like they're you know actively doing something. I think that really just adds to the realism as well. All right, and another pose that literally came from the first pose we just saw, just taking his left arm down, putting it more by his side, and now it looks like he's, you know, actually talking to someone on the comm link. Now, like I said, just simple things like this just can add, you know, a dynamic display option to your display. I mean, it, it, like if you're like me and you have multiple Hot Toys clones, you don't want them all just aiming their guns. I mean, unless that's a scene you're going for, but for me, I want all my clones to look like they're, you know, doing something a little bit different uh, for each of them. So having one communicating on his, you know, wrist comm link is just a great option for a dynamic display. All right, and this is what I talked about with just a simple pose, you know, moving the arm up, you know, having the blaster up by his head and, you know, tilting his head down to the max. I mean, you can't tell me that this dude doesn't look like he's on a mission. Dude wants to, dude is, you know, ha had a bad day. He's ready to just rip apart some battle droids, I mean, or he's, you know, took it upon himself to track down Darth Maul in the Ventador and, you know, is a little bit overestimating himself thinking he's going to take down Darth Maul, but little does he know he's going to lose an arm, so <laughs> anyway, this guy, I mean, he looks mean, he looks, you know, determined and just ready for action and I just I love a good simple pose that conveys emotion. 
All right, so that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope everyone enjoyed, and I hope you learned a little bit about Hot Toys and how they pose and the limits that they can reach. I mean, as you can see right here, this guy is aiming down his sights. I mean, yeah, you could maybe get it a bit closer, but the dude's wearing armor, so no, you know, no real clone would ever actually aim down the sights anyway. Like, their helmet's gonna get in the way, their armor's gonna get in the way. But, I mean, this is pretty much aiming down the sights. I mean, you can kind of see right there. It's, uh, it's pretty much as close as it's gonna get there. But you can really get those um, arms up and, you know, the articulation on Hot Toys is, you know, superior to just about any articulation out there. Unless you're, you know, talking about, like, an amazing Yamaguchi figure or, I mean, it's it's pretty much on par with just about anything you're getting just out of a regular action figure. So, if not more, I mean, I don't even think a Black Series poses quite as well as a Hot Toys clone. I mean, these things, and just Hot Toys in general, the bodies they use are durable and, you know you can really get dynamic poses out of them so if you have any hot toys and have been scared to pose take some of these tips and get your get your display how you want it and you know if you're like me and kind of like a more museum look to your figures then that's fine too but if you want to push them to their limits they totally can so like I said, I hope everyone enjoyed. Shout out to all my channel members. Y'all are some G's. Shout out to everyone that watches my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you. As always, may the force be with you. Ayy.